Hi, I'm here at work. Um, I figured I would do my today's video uh, here, um, the 3rd of April. So I haven't really put any more thought into what I want these videos to be about, so I figured I would tell you a hilarious story about um, a few weeks ago, I guess it was like two or three weeks ago, I don't know, anyway, I tried donating blood at uh, Canadian Blood Services, and uh, I just kind of decided on a whim that I would donate, so I called up to ask like what it was all about, and they were like, make sure you eat a lot and drink some water and stuff, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, so I like bought an extra bottle of water and like had a extra like pepperoni stick or whatever <laughs> and went and um, there was a lot of first-time donors there the night that I was there I just stopped after work and I was sitting there and everything was going fine and I, it was weird I mean I'd never donated blood before so I was feeling off about it um, but we, I was sitting there and there was a guy beside me, like a couple rows down, and they were like, oh, we need Cole Kloss over here. And he was, you know, like fainting and stuff. And I was like, what a wuss. Like, blah, I'm way better than that guy. So, like, everything was going fine. And then when they, when they finished dealing with that guy, they came over and asked how I was doing. And, like, I mean, I was feeling weird because, obviously, it's a weird feeling. Um, so I was like, yeah, it's, I feel a little weird. But, and they're like, no, really you have to tell us if you're not feeling okay. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm feeling a little weird. So they like yelled out, oh, we need Cole Kloss over here. And they like pulled the needle out of my arm and like, oh, so embarrassing. And like they put the cloths on me and stuff. And I was like, okay, whatever, like this sucks. I, I made it to have a bag though, so they could still use it. Um, but then the, the guy from before was over in the snack area. And, um, he, they were like, he was over there eating snacks and stuff. And I was like, okay, like I'm embarrassed, whatever. And then they yell from over in the snack area, we need cool cloths over here. And they like reel over this little bed and like lay him down on it and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm not that bad at least. Jeez, what a, uh, what a wuss. Um, and then, so after a little while, like I was feeling fine. So I went over to the snack area and it was a little chilly. So I got up and like went to get my coat from the coat rack or whatever. And uh, they were like, oh, are you feeling okay? Are you sure you're feeling okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little cold, so, like everything's fine. Um, but then when I got back to the snack area, I could feel like that I was l probably looking pretty pale. And the snack girl tenant came over and she's like, um, are you sure you're feeling okay? And I was like, well, I'm feeling kind of nauseous. Is that normal? She grabs my head and shoves it in between my legs. And she's like, I need cold class over here. And so they wheel over this little bed and like, oh, it's so embarrassing. And they lay me down and put the cold class on my head and like wheel me into this little room with a fan. And I was like, oh, it's so embarrassed. Everybody's like watching me as I roll by. Oh, it was so funny. I was texting my fiance at the time about this wuss guy that like was trying to give blood and then, and then like five minutes later I'm like yeah now I'm in the room with the fan oh, I'm so lame so that's my story next time way more water definitely and I'm gonna eat a huge cheeseburger before I go for sure but hopefully I'll be able to go again soon <laughs> that's my story hopefully it suits the purpose for this vlog thing. I don't know. Let me know how you think. Talk to you later. Bye.